All right, guys, so this is the final video in the Lightroom Library Workflow chapter, and we're going to teach you guys how to fix timestamp issues between multiple cameras. And uh, if you guys are shooting professionally, this is going to be something that you probably frequently run into, where you go and you shoot a job, whether it's a corporate event or a wedding or whatever it is, where you have multiple cameras and you forget to synchronize those cameras uh, regarding the time and the date before shooting. And so what ends up happening is you have you know hundreds if not thousands of images off both these cameras and when you bring them into Lightroom it's a nightmare to cull these two uh, cameras because you have shots that are occurring simultaneously but they don't show up together and so picking the best image becomes a big hassle because you're sitting there scrolling between cameras trying to find the best image and scrolling through the catalog to find both moments. So we're going to show you guys how to fix this issue and save you guys hours and upon hours of time in Lightroom during your editing process. Now the easiest way to fix this issue is to see if you have both cameras still available. If you do, what you want to do is pull up both cameras and figure out the difference between the time discrepancy. Now if you don't have that available to you, if the cameras aren't in one spot, then here's the next easiest thing which is basically to think about a moment during the day when you know both people were shooting the exact same thing, when both cameras were shooting the same thing at the same time. Now for a wedding, probably the easiest place to find that is when during the ceremony at some point in time, probably the first kiss, because we know there's going to be multiple shots, multiple angles on that first kiss. But let's scroll to the ceremony and see if we can find something like that. So I'm going to grow, actually what I'm going to first do is turn on my filters and go to my metadata, make sure I have camera serial number selected up here, and I'm going to select one camera serial number at a time so I can pick one of these images from one camera and then another from another, the other camera. So I'm scrolling down, I'm going to look for the ceremony, okay. So coming down the aisle would probably work, but I don't want to worry about like timing steps because coming down the aisle the same shot can look very very or, or different shots can look very very similar and you won't be able to tell exactly where they are in the aisle and things like that so it's kind of hard to sync time based on that let's pick something where they're on the altar um, alright and this looks pretty good to me I think I can probably find something in both that looks similar to maybe one of these images so I'm going to select this as my first image and we're going to do a timestamp now I'm going to select my second camera on my second camera, I'm going to go to the ceremony and try and find the exact same moment as that timestamp image. And it may be easier to look through both cameras and see, but I'm going to I'm going to first go through this and see if I can find it based on the second camera. And you can tell that this this is actually the difficult part in this process is finding these two images that are uh, basically shot at this at the same time. Once you do this, then it's actually pretty simple. All right, now it looks like it's probably this shot. So I'm going to put timestamp and let's see if these are similar. Now let's look at our timestamp selections and see if these are two of the similar shots. Okay, looks like they're holding hands, exchanging rings. Pretty close. Now if I if I did a first kiss, it'd probably be easier. Um, I think in this in this scene, I don't have uh, two angles on that first kiss. So I'm going to use this one and see how it works out. So what we're going to do is we're going to see when these images were shot. So this one was actually shot at, uh, the date was 4-2-2011, 1-36-33. This one's 4 one 24 8 So it looks like not only was the date wrong, but the time was wrong as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select one of these images. I'm actually going to write this down. So the, uh, the number that it should be, we'll say this is going to be our, actually let's select this one. This is going to be our main camera. And the main camera's time is 4 one 2011. Uh, sorry, that was the date. And the main camera time is 1.24.08 p.m. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second image, the one that has, the one that's off, and then we're going to turn off the filter. So right now the filter for keyword is on, so I don't want to keep that filter on, but I want to make sure that this image is selected. So what I'm going to do is hit all, and then I want to select only this camera serial number. So let's figure out which serial number that was. Okay, I, I guess right. So this was the serial number for that camera because the image is still selected. So make sure that image is still selected. Okay, so now with this image selected, I'm going to hit Control A. Now what this does basically is it selects every image uh, from this camera, from this serial number, but you'll notice that this image is highlighted because that is our reference point. So this is the reference point image. Now because I know this image happened at the exact same time as the other camera, which I wrote down the time, what I'm going to do is edit the time on this image to match that camera time. Now with all these images selected, it's going to basically create that 
cascading effect throughout the images that go before as well as the images that go after. So it's going to adjust everyone accordingly. So here's what I'm going to do. Making sure that one is highlighted, everything is selected, I go up to my metadata, I hit uh, edit capture time, and again this is something that can only be done once. It's You're not able to undo this. So uh, and it, it tells you that right here, this operation cannot be undone and it will actually be written in the metadata so you want to make sure you get it right. So what I want to do is, is say type of adjustment is adjust to a specific time and date. I know this shot was shot at the exact same time as the one that was shot at 4-1-2011. It was at 1-24-08 p.m. And I'm going to hit change all. Okay, now if you did this right, and maybe it might be a good idea to make a copy of your catalog and to uh, do it on the copy, so if you mess up, then then you can you know go back to the original catalog with the original times. But if you do it right, and I click all cameras, and then I click up here, and I go make sure it's sorting by capture time and ascending. Now check it out. Here's that other shot, and here's the one that we just synced. And now it looks like everything is synced together. So we have exchanging rings on one hand. We have a close up right afterwards it looks like we have successfully synchronized our times and we see here on one camera they are they have the candles in their hand on the second camera they have the candles so we've done a pretty good job of syncing our times it's gonna be much much easier to cull edit and process these photos alright guys so hopefully that made sense to everybody and uh, great job we have concluded the Lightroom library workflow chapter and now we're gonna move on to the good stuff we're gonna show you guys how to process images and get into the develop module in complete detail